Okay, and now we have our cylinder to work with. Um, the box seems okay, this, the sphere seems okay, you know, there's, there will be some pinching over here at the top anyway with the sphere. So let's go to see what's happening on that cylinder over here. Let's open the UV editor and let's see how we can make this a little bit better. And by better, what I mean is that if you notice, you know, the top is not that bad. The top placement of the of the UVs looks like the checker map is nicely distributed, so we're seeing squares. However, the, the bottom part, the side part, which is this part over here, seems to be very, very stretched. You see how any texture I put there, these, tri these rectangles sh are showing that it's going to be stretched out. So what I want to do is, just with the either scale or freeform form tool, um, start stretching it until I get until I get um, squares. And there, I want to match, you know, visually try to match the, you know, the proportions of these squares with these squares too. Excellent. So now we have something that looks kind of okay. So I am going to put it down here and if you notice now my my template is way back, you know, way out of the default area. Remember that you have to keep your UVs inside this darker square there because um, uh, because uh, that's what the default uh, area where the texture will go. If, if you turn the texture on over here, you're going to see. notice that that's where it goes. Uh, so let's select everything else, everything there, and uh, with the uh, tool selected, oops, sorry about that, um, let's uh, just scale it so that it fits inside. And then I'm going to look into the UV ed and the, into the viewport for guidance to make sure that everything, you know, looks kind of okay. Okay. I think that's okay. You make sure the edges are not out and that's it. Excellent. If I need, if, um, I think the distribution is pretty decent. Uh, but if you needed to work on the scale, you can create a third material and um, rename it uh, material, uh, checker material for cylinder or cylinder checker material. And uh, then use it for that and repeat it a few more times. Tile it, you know, the tiling uh, uh, option. So we created the primitives, we applied the UV maps, and the checker material. So we are finished with, uh, with all the, 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 uh, the setup that we needed to do. At this point, this is where you save your file. <laughs> and uh, also, we need to retrieve our UV maps and also render a, a, a viewport render. So since we have them nicely aligned over here, make sure that you cover all the sides for the, for the for the box and also for the cylinder so that we can see the top and the bottom and, and, and the side. So once you have them laid and, and you know nicely placed over there, go rendering, render. And there is your viewport render. From there, you, you see this uh, floppy disk icon here, save image, and just save your file, whatever you can retrieve it to upload it to the classroom. Uh, make sure that you do uh, JPEG over here and then name over here and save, okay? And that's, how, that's the viewport render. Um, and then if you wanted to change the environment so that it's not black, uh, so that it doesn't not compete with the checker test, go to rendering environment and background color, set it to maybe a gray, a gray color over here. And let me show you what a difference that makes. Go rendering, render, you see how much of a difference it makes because then you can the the uh, the checkers since they're black they blend too much with the with the background so they don't get lost, okay. And the other thing you want to uh, render is the UV template. So let's see here the one for the cylinder with the cylinder selected on the modify tab. Go to the unwrap UV modifier and open the UV editor. And with the UVs already set up, just simply go render tools. Render UV template and render UV template. And there is your UV template for to upload to the classroom. So I hope that's helped. This helps.